Hi guys, welcome back. Let's talk about the 5th gen Glock 19, a handgun that, even after 5 years of its release, still finds itself in the top tiers. And I'm sure you have clicked on this video because you were confused about whether to purchase the handgun. Well, I've got you covered. I've been using 5th gen Glock 19 for about 4 years which puts me in a good position to form a calculated opinion about the weapon. You must have read or heard debates on the 4th gen versus the 5th gen of Glock 19. It is because the Glock has a very enthusiastic fan base that keenly observes every detail of the weapon. Thus naturally, some people like the gen 4 Glock 19 better than the 5th gen and vice versa. Fortunately, I have a decent experience with both weapons and because I'm not an enthusiast fan of the brand, there is no bias or prejudice in my observations and opinions. So let's take a detailed look at the 5th gen Glock 19 to help you decide whether the firearm is to your liking. Concealed Carry even though the 5th gen Glock 19 was not launched long ago, the regulations around firearms were not as stringent as they are now. A lot has changed in these 5 years and concealed carry has become a critical feature to look for while purchasing a handgun. While the gun features a compact design, it wasn't intended to enhance concealability, but rather to provide a weapon that strikes a balance between firepower and control. Both Gen 4 and Gen 5 feature a perfect balance between two. Glock 19 is a mid-sized version of the Glock 17, a full-sized handgun. Glock reduced the barrel and grip size by half an inch, which may not seem much, but impacts the handgun significantly. It does not just make the gun easier to conceal, but also offers the control of a full-sized handgun. You would find it much easier to shoot than other compact offerings of Glock, including 26 and 43. And it is because of this feature, some enthusiasts dubbed the Glock 19 as the Goldilocks gun. The dimensions of both generations are compact enough for concealed carry. Both are practically identical and weigh very light, making them great daily drivers. So this category is pretty balanced. Aesthetics While most people might not care about the aesthetics of a gun, as long as it is reliable and accurate, I certainly do, and it is an important feature I wish I had known before purchasing the gun. The Gen 4 Glock 19 features melanite coating, whereas the Gen 5 version boasts a diamond light coating, also known as NDLC. The diamond light coating adds a bit of shine to the Gen 5, but it comes at the cost of fingerprint smudges. It kind of throws me off because I like to showcase my weapon, and the smudges do not go well with it. However, it is essential to mention that getting them off is not difficult. You can get them off with any cloth, and there is certainly no need to purchase a specialized cleaning fabric. Because of the matte finish, you would not experience this problem with Gen 4. But again, it lacks the luster than the diamond-like coating offers. Thus, essentially, there is a trade-off between the two. Some people will find Gen 5 better looking, while others will prefer Gen 4. I find Gen 4 better in this regard, as I can take it out for shooting and store it on shelves without needing a cloth to clean it. Grip The grip is one of the most improved features in the Gen 5 Glock 19. Glock has changed the slide stop and used a new ambidextrous slide stop which works especially well for left-handed shooters. Left-handed shooters generally have to spend a decent amount to customize the grip for a comfortable fit, but the Gen 5 solves that problem as it offers a comfortable and secure fit to both right and left-handed individuals. Furthermore, the Gen 4 had grooves in the grip, which were quite liked by the shooters. I'm also a fan of these grooves, but now that I've tried the Gen 5, which lacks them, I'm in a bit of a pickle. The lack of grooves makes Gen 5 somehow make it even better, which is weird considering grooves were vital in the grip of the Gen 4. I know it sounds confusing, but you will feel it in the moment you hold both guns. Despite the lack of grooves, the grip of the Gen 5 feels incredibly secure and ergonomic. Again, it comes down to personal preferences, but I lean more toward the Gen 5 because it offers a more comfortable feel. Trigger The trigger is one of the major changes in the Gen 5 and is probably the most talked about feature. Frankly, I was not expecting much difference between the two triggers, but the changes have left me in awe. The new trigger feels crisp 
and offers that snappy pull, a major lacking in Gen 4. Furthermore, it is also rather simple as it uses only two pins. Because of the fewer components, the chances of breaking down are unlikely. I use the gun quite often, and during the last four years, I have never had to replace the trigger. I'm afraid the same cannot be said about Gen 4 because of the three pin design, which has the tendency to break down. It is incredible that the Gen 5 delivers an even better trigger feel despite using fewer components. Safety. Brands as giant as Glock rarely go wrong with the safety, and it seems as if every weapon is as secure as it can get. However, every once in a while it introduces new features which we do not even need. But once we use those features, it becomes incredibly hard to let go of it, which is precisely what happened in the 5th gen Glock 19. Like the previous generation, the 5th gen also features three passive safeties, making it almost impossible for guns to accidentally fire. But in addition to these, the 5th gen also features an extended floor plate which indicates the gun is empty. Enthusiasts who use multiple guns on a daily basis will appreciate the convenience it offers. You do not have to individually check the safeties before storing the weapon or giving it to anyone else. Just a look at the floor plate will let you know whether the gun is empty. Frankly, it is one of my favorite features about the new generation. New Barrel Another significant change in the Gen 5 was the barrel design, which is entirely different from all the previous Glock models. Since 1982, Glock has been using a standard traditional barrel that featured valleys and raised edges arranged in a spiral fashion within the barrel. These grooves provide spin to the bullet as it is released from the barrel. But in the 5th Gen Glock 19, the firearm manufacturer experimented with a new barrel design known as polygonal rifling. As the name suggests, the new barrel is shaped in a polygon with six or more sides. With this new design, you get more longevity, a better seal, and overall sturdiness. Furthermore, the new barrel does not hold much lead, copper, or carbon fouling. And believe me, it takes almost half the time to clean compared to the previous models. It means you can use the gun for extended periods without worrying about the maintenance and cleaning. Despite the benefits, some people did not appreciate the change and believed it impaired accuracy by making control difficult. To be honest, if you use Gen 4 and 5 side by side, there is not much difference in the accuracy. You may notice a slightly reduced velocity of the bullet in Gen 5 if you use high-end equipment to test it, but in the real world, there is not much difference in the performance of both guns. Takeaway: The Gen 5 Glock 19 is an incredible weapon and there is not much wrong that we can find even after the nitpicking. The firearm manufacturer indeed experimented a lot with this generation, and fortunately, most of them worked in their favor. It checks all the right boxes for a handgun, ranging from concealability to firepower. The gun is incredible for personal and home protection despite its compact size, and because of the tweaks made in the design, it does not require much maintenance. So for people new to guns and looking for something that is reliable, accurate, and easy to use, the Glock 19 5th generation can be a decent option, plus an affordable price tag which is just south of $475 is an added benefit. We hope this video was helpful. Stay connected with us to learn more about weapons, firearm manufacturers, and the continuously changing regulations around them. We will see you in the next one.